everyone and welcome to this edition of Wolf Behavior 101. My name is Jeremy and I'm the biologist here with the Wolf Education and Research Center. I've been living here with the Sawtooth Pack for 12 years now and two years with the Oahe Pack. And it is Earth Day today, so happy Earth Day everyone. I hope you're all enjoying it. It's also Peep's birthday today. He's 14 years old today, which is quite old for a wolf. It makes him about 98 years old in human years. I thought today would be a good day to talk about how weather patterns affect wolf behavior. Um, as you can see, uh, today is a pretty typical spring day for Winchester here. Temperature hovering around 40 degrees or so, uh, with a little bit of a breeze as you can tell. And uh, the, a slow soaking cold rain. Uh, the rain feels about 30 degrees or so, which makes it for some very bone chilling conditions out here. Uh, this is a good example of one of those days that the wolves really don't tend to uh, stay out in the open very much, and I don't blame them. Uh, this type of weather really does seem to affect them. It makes them quite lethargic. Um, so either they curl up and try to stay warm and let the guard hair shed the water off of their bodies, and sometimes they'll even seek shelter, uh, which is quite rare, and uh, go underneath the tree bough and try to stay dry for the day. Conversely, in the winter time, when it gets colder and uh, snowy, they actually become energized and they tend to uh, be out and, and romping around in the snow, very playful, almost like human children would during the first snow of the year. Um, and then as we get into summertime and the, the heat really starts to uh, get turned up and, uh, and the bright sun comes out, then wolves don't tend to uh, enjoy that type of weather either. Uh, they uh, will seek shelter um, and get into the shade, sometimes get into the very wet areas, the muddy areas, uh, to try to cool their bellies off. Uh, gray wolves really aren't built very well for uh, hot temperatures, uh, so then they become reactive during the twilights and during the evening time as well. Um, and then as we get into fall and we start getting some storms and, and so forth, uh, then they tend to get quite energized when uh, thunderstorms roll through the area. You can actually predict thunderstorms by listening to them howl. They usually will howl very abruptly about 20 minutes or half an hour before uh, a thunderstorm approaches us, which is a good predictor for us and we usually uh, will listen to them and begin to take shelter. Um, and then when the lightning is here, they don't tend to like that. They will seek some shelter and again, can't blame them for that. And then we get back into winter where it's a, uh, a very playful and, and very energetic time for them. So um, that's it for this edition um, of uh, Wolf Behavior 101. I hope you're all dry and warm where you're at. And uh, remember, celebrate Earth Day every day. Thanks. Bye.